Hello, and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pip uh, Escape from Pripyat. Oh man, already botched the intro. Okay, very good. Um, I, let's see. I don't have any money, correct? And I have, I have nothing. I have nothing. I could sell a bunch of stuff, for sure. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what the best route to take right now. We're very hungry right now. There's apparently something to shoot. My my lads are, you know, they're 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 getting spicy. It would be nice is if you had something to eat. Never mind. So we gotta get ourselves some food. Get ourselves some food. Uh, I've gotta kill a, a mutant or two. Where, where are you going, my my lad? Where are you going? I don't know what we're gonna do uh, today, to be honest. We're gonna sandbox a little bit. I need to recoup some losses. Are you? No, you're. What are you looking towards, my dude? What are we pursuing exactly? He's he's a. Uh, his his almonds are activated right now. My lad is is fully activated and pursuing something spicy. Are we seeing something? I, I, again, I am not being. I'm not able to see anything. Well, let's hope that uh, whatever it was has something to eat. Oh, we got some clear sky corpses. There are a couple of bodies to loot here, so let's go ahead and grab something. I, I'm praying for a bite. Oh, did you, dude, did you loot the body? I swear to God. Well, there's some mutants over there. All right, we've got, oh, well, actually, we've got some nice stuff. Not, not really what we want, but... Um, take the magazine. I'm I'm officially like I really need to get to a. Like, I guess I'll, I'll I'll be a bit more picky choosy about my what I'm taking. Damaged trigger trigger mechanism, dirty barrel. Uh, so all signs point to this being the least damaged thing. Nope, never mind. I guessed wrong. I'll just take all the stuff. It's fine. That stuff doesn't weigh very much. Now, please tell me that you, the guy did not actually, aw, uh, you dirty son of a gun, you looted the body. All right, well, do you at least have the stuff on you that you could sell to me? No. I, uh, oh, we have a, we have a helicopter. This is good. I did see some mutants over there. Let's hope that uh, one of them has some, oh, we got lots of nice stuff here. I'm going to stop disassembling stuff in order to gain like, you know, X amount of things because, you know, I know it is worth it, but I've got enough stuff, I think. Like I have a, an entire, I really should just take the stalker patch. I've got an entire chest full of stuff and um, it's not really serving me right now. Oh God. Okay, uh, fortunately that helicopter is not pursuing us. I might, uh, I do have an energy drink on me, I think. Do I not? I don't think I even have that. Wow. Yeah, we really have nothing right now. Almost night, finish your work already. It is almost night. What happened to the mutant? There's a mutant around here and I don't see it anymore. God damn. What a miserable position to be in. At least we have some mineral water. Like, I have all of the necessary, um, like, stuff to purify food once we get it. But I really am in this, like, awful, awful position of not being able to afford food. Oh, there's a dead body, like, right there. What do you have? Oh. 
Couldn't you, couldn't you die with some food on you, dude? I feel like I'm hearing something. What happened to the mutant over here? That looks like a, 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 like a flesh corpse, but I know it's just a boulder, right? I mean, it does really look like a flesh corpse. Oh, actually, that is a corpse. Is that a, lo a lurker? Uh, this is a boar. Okay, so it was a corpse. Unfortunately, didn't have any uh, food. It looks like a, it looked like a lurker. It looked huge. Um, why couldn't why couldn't that get? Okay, I think I see something else over there. My God, with the, with the with the helicopter, I almost feel like doing a pause, cause like you don't wanna you don't wanna see me crawling everywhere looking for a bite to eat, or maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe this is fun too. I feel like I see some lads over there. I do. What is that? It doesn't really tell me. I think those are zombies. I don't think you can eat any zombie meat. So we do have a boar over here. Hopefully there's something to grab off this. Yes. All right. All right. We're, we're maybe, maybe very slowly getting back on our feet here. It's amazing how little can like completely affect your quality of life in this game. Like, I, I don't even know how I got into this position. Of, of being completely broke and, and having no food. But we are we are here. It's like they, uh, when you're looking at the map, you see the little star. Okay, so that's, that is a huge leap forward. We can now actually move and breathe. Now, next, I would like to go and in investigate that uh, gunfight. Best case scenario, it's free stalkers fighting mutants. Actually, that wouldn't be a great um, scenario. That would that would be a worst case scenario in a way because then they would 100% chop up what they find. What we want to find instead is um, bandits fighting mutants, and then they can kill the bandits and take the food. Seems like a zombie is roaming around the area. So I don't know what what we're gonna be doing next. To be honest, like, what is our next goal? Um, we have a re recover Cedravix shipment over there. We've got mm. kill a stalker in. Uh, is this the Dark Valley? Uh, I don't think that is the Dark Valley. That is the Dark Valley. I had it right the first time. Recover Cedravix shipment is apparently I have more than one recover Cedravix uh, shipment. I don't know what that entrance is. Is that entrance somewhere? Oh, that's the... Wait. Oh, what are you seeing? Oh, you you guys are bad. I don't know why I'm using my, my good ammo on this lad. What happened there? <laughs> He got yeeted. That was incredible. Mm. Ugh. There's anomalies everywhere, so I'm not going to be able to recover most of the goodies here. Field strip this. Uh, that's not going to stop me from trying, though. There's some boar stuff. I am able to just barely get in here without triggering the anomaly, which is fantastic. All right, let's save. And then we have, um, in this awful situation here, I'm wondering if this is going to trigger the anomaly. No. Okay, we're good. Fantastic. And this is why you need a knife. And this is why I was so 
extra frustrated that my knife got stolen. Uh, that, that feels like a little bit of cheese, but I don't mind. I could use some cheese if you know what I mean. That's a good joke. Please clap. Um, do we have do we have anything on this flesh o? Mm, well, we do, but nothing really good. Okay, so now we're gonna take a moment and cook up our food. Again, I mean, I, I don't know. I should probably stop saying this, but I, I wish it didn't take so long to cook food. I guess if I was really in the zone, it would take longer than it does. But, you know, I think that at some point you do have to compromise realism for the sake of, uh, a, you know, a game experience. I don't think I'm in, under the opinion that total realism doesn't make for very good um, or entertaining gameplay. That's, you know... I feel like um, if you had a very uh, totally realistic game, let's let's uh, let's be. I, I'm gonna be pedantic for a moment. Uh, you'd only be able to die once. Let's just let's put it that way. I'm sure someone out there would love that experience. Like, yeah, give me a completely realistic Tarkov experience. I guess there is literally an iron mode for this game, so that's fair. Um. So, I probably ate way more food there than I needed to, but my dude was hungry, so. We have a little bit more um, stuff to cook up, but I need more, um, I think it's Putinka vodka? No, Putinka is what I've, I've got, so I need Nemirov. I need Nemirov vodka, and I should be good. Um, but... I think we can get that elsewhere. We could go to the, let's go to the farm. And I'm gonna make my way towards recover Sidrovic's shipment because we, we need, I'm gonna recover a little bit of money. Let's go back to the farm. It, uh, I like how it just like um, pushes the time forward a little bit. Let me buy some Patinka. No, sorry, not Patinka. Um, Nemirov vodka. I th I don't think that I don't think that that guy will be available right now. The the guy who sells the uh, Nemirov. Yeah, he usually clocks out around ten o'clock. All right. So what about you? Do you have the Nemirov? You do not. What a shame. What a darn shame. I don't think I need anything else here. Um, certainly there are things I could buy, but I, I, uh, you know, I actually, no, never mind. There's nothing I can buy because I don't have any money. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to, oof, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm not going to go to sleep. What was that? Is there any work you want done? Eliminate dangerous mutants for clear sky. Location cordon south of train tunnel. Sure, I can do that. Easy peasy. Love that kind of mission. Um, you guys are, are blocking the way in here. And I, I'm going to go to bed, my dude. <laughs> I like how in the le bottom left there, we'll get, occasionally get a, an obituary. And then you see that, hot damn, he owes, owes me money. <laughs> That's just really funny to me. My dude, you are in the way. You you are like 100% in the way right now, and, and I need to get in there specifically. He will not move. Is he stuck as well? Why is this happening? Can you not be broken right now? Issue command. Um, can you come over here? Really? I, I need to get in there. Oh, okay. I managed to push past him. Nice. Of course, I'm going to have to do that again. We're going to get up in six hours. Hopefully, I won't be hungry again. I'm pretty sure I should be okay. We are hungry again. 
But that's fine. I should be able to buy the Nimrov vodka. Nope, never mind. Oh, he, he's just coming back. So apparently he comes back at like 7 in the morning. Do you think those stalkers will pay his ransom? Okay, you have Nemiroff vodka. Fantastic. And I can afford it. That is a very good feeling. Um, that's interesting how it puts junk in the cell column right away. That's a... a uh oh, did the game crash? Please tell me the game didn't crash. I, I just saved, so it shouldn't be a problem, but I, I'd rather not have to reload. It, it, nothing is happening. All right, I'm going to do a pause. All right, the, the game had, in fact, crashed. So, yeah, as I was saying, it, it's interesting to me that it automatically puts like junk in uh, the sell spot. I don't know how I feel about that because I don't necessarily want to sell my junk. I actually just mark it as junk in order to, um, you know, know what uh, what I, I need to disassemble. But it does remind me that I should probably put a bunch of stuff away in my chest before uh, we move on from here. Now, I did, this is before I bought the Nemirov vodka. So let's go ahead and buy that again. I was going to say, if he didn't have the Nemirov Vodka, I was going to be actually upset. Because that would just be really unfair. Alright, so we can cook two meals up. That means we'll have a one on standby. And uh, we can feed ourselves now. That's good. And we can always, uh, we can make up the rest later. You know, as long as you have one standby meal, you're good. You don't, uh, you, need, you, don't you shouldn't need to worry about uh, food. Hey, you know, that's one thing we could do. I just realized there is um we there is an RF mission to do in uh, the south of Cordon. Now, unfortunately, that means fighting another military base. Did not mean to do that. Um, so that's really dumb and annoying, but uh, we could give it a go. I don't think it's as tough as the one in the Great Swamp. Okay, let's um, eat one of these. And I'm going to go dump off some stuff in our uh, chest. Let's take a swig of water. I am feeling a little bit more confident in this game. You know, like things are looking up. We have a surplus of bullets. Like we've got a lot of bullets. We've actually got a workshop, which is great. Um, you know, we've we don't have any money right now. That's honestly the worst part. I need to I need to sell some of this stuff. N not a lot of not everything here is usable I at a certain point um, I need to prioritize like only mm. keeping stuff that is uh, above 75% I'm not scrolling up by the way I don't know why it's doing that okay we'll keep that I should make a note of like how damaged that is and then just like everything else is trash I, I guess we'll keep that barrel that's like the limit uh all right there, there we go there's a pretty decent whatever that is that is a trigger i was gonna say trigger mechanism but i didn't want to be wrong again you know oh and we also have a ton of uh magazines to unload here and i am gonna go ahead and like dump all of this ammo in our chest for the purposes of uh disassembling later what Weird. We have a suit utility upgrade kit. And now, see, the benefit of having a um, workshop is I can check if we can apply that right now without having to, like, save and then buy, you know, spend a thousand rubles. Um, we can check right now, and I, I love that. Um, looks like we can't use that on our main armor. And our backpack is fully upgraded. And so is our helmet. We can't. I, I picked uh, extra radiation protection and extra psychic mm -hmm. resistance, considering that we were tasked with having extra psychic resistance. I, I felt like that was a good choice. That sounds like someone is walking up on me, but no, I think I'm okay. Um, all right. So I promise I'm not going to do any more inventory management than I have to. So let's just go ahead and dump all of this stuff off. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell a couple of things. They, their almonds are activating, so I have a funny feeling we're getting 
ambushed by a bandit. Now you, lad, I'm going to go ahead and sell a bunch of stuff. We could actually use some extra money. So we'll sell all this stuff. That's actually not bad money. It, it, it adds up, you know? Um, I don't think we can use any of these magazines, which is fine. So we'll, we'll get rid of those. And uh, we're good. 3,000 rubles is actually, you know, nothing to scoff at. Trading prices improved. We're at level 12 for trading prices. Love that for us. We're getting there, you know? Like, we're, 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 we're improving over time. Oh, I didn't take this guy's money. He had, what, 9 rubles? I mean, you know. Uh, a ruble p uh, pinched is a ruble earned or whatever. Ruble saved is a ruble earned. Okay, we got ourselves a mutant north, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go north, kill that mutant. I don't know what what is happening with our lads. They are, you know, questionable right now. So these are not friendly. So let's go ahead and use our snipo. Now, he's gone ahead and done the smart thing and hid in a bush where I could never see him ever. That's fine. Kill a patrol, get ourselves a little bit of loot. Bandit. That's good. What do you, did you have anything good? Uh, I don't care about stripping that. Do you have anything good? Not really. We do have these magazines. Oh, you had some pretty good, uh, you have a pretty good barrel and I think that's the gasket. B barrel and what? Bolt carrier? Might be the bolt carrier. Let's see if I was right. I was wrong. The bolt carrier was apparently... That doesn't look like the bolt carrier. That looked like the barrel to me. So the only... Oh, functional gas system. I was right. I told you. Yo, bud, I told you about that gas system, though. So where is this mutant? It seems like it keeps going further north. When I actually I want to go south... You know what? Let's say let's say screw it to that RF uh, receiver mission south, and then just like we'll just head north towards Dark Valley. There's some missions to do up there. We have a, a mutant to kill. We got some food to to, to make. We got to bring in the bread, you know. I'm amazed we're not seeing this uh, mutant yet. Ah, that could be it. No, that's a friendly. Did they did they kill my mutant for me? No, it's still further north. Where is this mutant? Uh, well, you're chopping up a rat. I have to assume there's a rat up here. Wait a minute, up? How could it be up? Oh no, is it a bird? I've never had to kill a bird before. I think it is a bird. Well, I actually shot a bird. I thought these things were really hard to kill. What do you mean I got a battery? What do you mean I got a battery from a bird? You know, it's... Oh, that's a, that's a bandit. It's funny, I've, I've, uh... Never even really tried to kill a bird. Got 
god, I'm this is such a waste of ammo. I, you know what's funny is I, I I never see NPCs trying to kill birds, uh, even though they are in fact mutants. I'm gonna let the bird be for now, and we'll we'll deal with it later. Okay, that was uh, I don't know if you heard it, but there was like a very loud thump, and I had to investigate that. All right, um, take these magazines. I think I'm good on the rest of this stuff. I guess I'm field stripping again, even though I don't. I, I said I was I wasn't going to. Ah, uh, that anomaly is broken. I see. Ah, we got some shotgun ammo. Oh no, that is an emission. So okay, we gotta go in here. Oh, this is a not an emission. It's a size storm. Slight difference. Okay, I'll do a quick pause here while I wait out the size storm, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, size storm is averted. So um, that gave me a moment to uh, do a little bit of planning. I think what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go through the garbage up to Dark Valley, and we're gonna do a, little, a few things in Dark Valley and um you know check a few boxes and uh, i guess that that might be <laughs> um misleading I, what i really mean is just like complete some quests up there but there genuinely are stashes that we can check out and then i'm going to come back through the meadow because there's some stuff to do there and then we'll hand in some quests i don't know if we're going to do all of that in one uh you know in today's episode but we'll, we'll give it a go you never know but, um, size storm wasn't too bad. I managed to ditch some stuff that I, I had field stripped from a bunch of guns that we didn't need. And, uh, we're pretty, pretty good to go. Uh, all right. So where is our, we've got something to do here. Recover Cedarvik stuff. And then we're going to go east. So this is a vehicle graveyard. I can't remember. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do there. There's a mission that someone wants me to do. Also, uh, something I'd like to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and eject this magazine and uh, throw some more bullets in it. Real quick. Perfect. And then we'll throw that back in there. <laughs> the animation is a little misleading. Um, you know, he just kind of flicks out the uh, the magazine, but we all know that we're, we're saving everything. Also, I don't think I want to use my big lad. As much as we do have a surplus of 545 uh, or 556 ammo, um, I don't want to be using it up because we may uh, encounter a bandit base in Dark Valley and want to take it out. So is that a bad guy? That is in fact a bad guy. You know, I, I just said that I don't want to use this gun, but it is the best gun for circumstances like this. That is also a bad guy. There's some stuff to do in the vehicle graveyard. A little bit concerned about what's going on over there. This felt like a zombie. He didn't seem like he was walking very good. Wow, this was actually not even worth the ammo I spent on it. Can we unload? Hey, all right, that's something. Now, uh, let's just, we'll check the vehicle graveyard, see if there's something to do in there. There might be something I can, I can, I'm pretty sure there is. Let me, uh, sorry, I keep pulling this out and then putting it away again. I actually have some tasks to do here. Cedrovix shipment, find battery artifact for Net Fanatic. I'm, I'm surprised that this quest is even still available to me. Procure, procure, procure flesh meat. That's a long time ago I was given that. Deliver PDA to Nimble. 
Where in Zaton? Oh, okay. Uh, find Taz Bison. Scarce supplies. Antidote times four. Eh. Find rodent meat. Lost signal. Trace his missing squad and find out what happened to them. I should head over to Truck Cemetery. Okay, different from Vehicle Graveyard. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to head in this direction because this is where Cedravik's um, shipment went. Might honestly pull out the, the... The pistol might be better in this circumstance. Really wish I had binoculars or something. Okay, that's one dead. I'm seeing another one over there. It's another one dead. In a unique position where I actually get to shoot at them before they shoot at me. Oh god. Just had to open my mouth, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, I did. Trying to find a good spot. Okay, let's just save for now. can't see me you can't shoot me this box will be my protection it, it is actually like amazing to me how helpful leaning is Hoping that's it. Ooh, some really nice stuff in here. Oh god, this was military. Um, yeah, there's some good stuff here. Let's grab the bolt carrier. And that's it. We don't need anything else from there. And I think I'm actually good for this as well. But I guess we can unload. And we'll unload. Good to grab the ammo, I think, at the very least. I don't know, maybe there's a, a there is a more optimal way of collecting loot in this game that I'm not um, making use of. Uh oh. I'm wondering, like, some of these sounds are, are a little bit misleading. Okay, bandit, that's good. Anything good? No, not really. We'll unload. Eject the magazine. Uh, I guess I'll grab magazines. They're kind of heavy, but I can at least sell them to pretty much anyone. I know there's another body around here. I know there is. Is that it there? Yes. Okay. How's our weight doing? We're at 90. Um, all right, so I am seeing the quest marker it Shows it being up the hill Is it the body this body here? Aha Sidravik shipment Good job And we have a dog I think Yeah, that's already been um, chopped up All right, so what next? Why did I press? I did not mean to press that I swear to god all right, I think we're done here. What is this? Eliminate dangerous mutants for clear sky. Is that is that the same bird? 
Did the, the bird somehow make it over here? Wait, el eliminate dangerous mutants. That doesn't sound right. That's a clear sky. I saw an anomaly go off. I'm wondering if it's a bloodsucker. Oh, wait, no, this is the guy I took the job from. He gave me glue tube and 7,000 rubles. Great, thank you. That's pretty funny, actually. I, I'm pretty sure he was in the cordon when I took that mission. So the fact that he kind of like wandered up here into the gar uh, garbage is, is pretty good. All right, so now we are done that. Let us go to the Dark Valley. I've got some more food, so I should be able to good. I should be able to good. Jesus Christ. Uh, I should be good for food. Good Lord. <laughs> Am I having a strong? What are you looking at, bud? Do you want some food? I bet you guys are hungry. I'm so glad I don't have to take care of them. Like, I know I can give them better armor. I do understand that, and I probably should. They seem to have pretty good armor. I also do know I can give them better weapons. I really don't want to. Like, I'm sorry, I just like straight up do not want to do inventory management for these lads. Oh God, okay, rodent meat requires water. Good to know. Um, I'm good, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat one of these now. Nice. Okay, we will... Found a cocoon. Almost lost my balance. Lucky guy. Found a cocoon. These guys are clear sky. We're good. Alright, so we're just gonna head east. We're heading straight east from here. We could head to the truck cemetery at some point. I know there's a quest to do there. I haven't really explored that place but what little I have explored there sucks. Like there's some really nasty and dangerous mutants. So not, not a huge fan. We are actually starting to get um, pretty good psi protection. Like my helmet provides me with pretty good psi protection. Um, and we've got some psi blockers. I don't know how ready we need to be when I decide to go after Strelok. Um, but I, that feels late game to me. Like, that next mission feels like it's gonna be dicey, and I don't necessarily want to do it until I am very good and ready. Um, this place sucks. But, hey, water. Um, why don't we... Oh, God. What, am, what is he doing? Why don't we fill up our canteen since we're so rarely near any kind of body of water oh god Oh God. These are renegades.
You'll have to excuse me while I run through just like the most dangerous crap of all time. All right. We're good. And when I say we're good, I mean, you know, debatable. But hey, I didn't take all that much damage. How much uh, did we suffer? Eh, could be worse. Could be much worse, actually. I feel pretty good about all of that. Um, I did pick up all of this stuff. Remington 700. Mm -hmm. I've heard very good things about the Remington. The damage is what? Damage is 52 versus our 33. It is better, but it also requires 762, and we all know how I feel about that. Not great. Um, this is not even worth, like, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's worthless. We do have a Pernar, uh, Pernach, Pernach? This thing uh, uses 9mm, and I tend to always have 9mm. Like, it's just everywhere. Like, I have a whole slew of 9mm right now. Um, so, uh, kind of tempting to make use of that. We have an SVT. I do like the SVT. Um, but I think I'm good. So, we'll grab the, the magazine. We'll drop this. Kind of tempted to, to keep this Remington. Does it use uh, magazines? Loaded magazine. It uses standard 762 Remington 700 magazines. That doesn't sound standard at all, honestly. What is this? Yeah, this is a Remington 700 magazine. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of really tired of snipers that require crazy mags. Like, what we have currently uses standard 554 mags, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and unload everything just so that all of this gets consolidated. I am thinking uh, that our, maybe the next perk I take will be a faster unload. J like, I know it's such a stupid thing to take, but, you know, like, it really would quicken a lot of stuff for me. I was thinking, if this uh, nine nine millimeter uh, magazine, like extended mag, would fit in this pistol, I kind of would be really tempted to keep that. Okay. So now all of that gets consolidated, and we're good to go. Um, I do have some minor repair stuff. I could use one of those on our suit. This is a uh, repair bonus sixteen. Base condition gain plus 16, so we don't have to use that for quite a long time. Not usable below. Okay, so these are all fine to use basically whenever. I think if I was going to use something, it would be the glue tube next because it's only 10. Um, but actually, like, small incremental usage items are just as important, like, just as good um, than others in a way because it's kind of difficult to explain but like they're more optimal to to use like you want to maintain your equipment and your guns and your like your your uh, armor um as like quickly as you can you want to make sure that it's good to go like always you don't you don't want to sit on that you don't want to wait until it's like really damaged so like for instance i could use a 10% right now it's actually not a terrible idea um so having a small increment is actually good because uh, it means you can do small repairs as they're needed well okay so we'll like waste four points on this on this glue kit but remember i've taken like pretty much every single trait um that helps preserve my repair kits uh, I, unfortunately i did not it didn't work this time but, you know, it's, it's, you know, it happens. It's there. I did, I did find out that, um, the suit repair kits, like those big, the, the big chunky ones, um, what's the, the benefit, the major benefit to those is that they actually repair the components as well. Um, so they're worth it. You definitely want to do minor repairs as well. Um, and I've, you know, I've got the stuff to do that. But, um, like, you want to repair the components when you can. But, uh, honestly, I think it's, like, if you're kind of lazy about stuff, you can just, like, save up and try and get yourself a, one of those 
uh, like big suit repair kits, and that'll help you maintain the, com the 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 components as well. Instead of like having to play this weird mini game where you have to like, you know, get the right repair kit, repair uh, a bunch of like your, you know, saved up components. Whoa, I've never seen those before. Uh, so that you have like 100 condition. Okay, they they do be exploding. Okay, we don't want to be anywhere near there. I think I was hearing dogs. Now, I have not been in the Dark Valley very much. So much of it is still kind of unknown to me. Just like... I definitely heard something. Is it starting to rain? Starting to hear some kind of rain. All right, so what do we need to do here? We need to go hard east. Um, I don't think I want to go to the lab. That's, you know, that that is a, a whole thing. And I don't, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Maybe I should. I haven't really gotten any missions to do anything like that yet. But maybe I should just, you know, pop the the metaphorical cherry on on doing labs. I know they're they're pretty intense. There's something very spicy about them. I do see something over there. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's a. Well, it's... Uh-oh. Someone did not reload. Oh, it's... It's a fractal, I think. No, well, it's a jibbed fractal now. Pretty good. I heard a shotgun in Dark Valley east of the abandoned farm. I'm really, really glad that my... That anomalies do not affect my friends. Because that really just would be the worst. This is, um... Okay, what are you? I don't know what it was, but it's dead now. That's the way I like it. I think those were zombified folk. Yeah. Well, the problem with these guys is that they don't really have a lot of stuff. Well, I mean, this guy had a repair kit. That's not nothing. How how's our weight doing? We're at one hundred one one thirteen. So we're getting up there. Oh, that looks like a flesh. Is that a flashlight? Yo! Free flashlight. I should open this up every once in a while. It never seems to beep. But occasionally, I should give it a look. Okay, doing a save. So I don't know. I am tempted to try the lab. I did want to. I do want to try something new. Like we're getting to the point where I can take on the challenges of the zone pretty consistently outside of taking on the military. I do have two friends. I don't. I. I don't think I ever said this. By the way, I did take a trait that makes my. Uh, I took the leadership trait, so my friends take less damage and do more. Now, I'm pretty sure this was a bandit base last time I came here, and it was a lot of killing. Uh, and in fact, we are seeing... Something is seeing us. Hoping that's a mutant somewhere and not, like... This place is littered with bandits, because as much as that was, you know, 
fun and all i don't really want to take on an army mostly um out of preservation for our, our like our ammo it's funny how your priorities change you know i would like to check out the stash over here uh, there's definitely bandits in there Well, that's a shame. Looks like it's on the other side of this wall. Um, where, where did my friends go? Where'd y'all go and why? Why did you leave me? All right, well, let's see, um, let's see how nasty this gets. I could use mostly shotgun ammo. That would be kind of nice, like lure them out. Actually, you know what would be really good? If we could use a grenade. So far, so good. That went well. That went very good. I don't know if there's anything else here. So is this a lab? There's there, there's a indication that there's a um. Oh god. Ouch. Okay, let's uh, heal up our bleeding. I'll save. Okay, I love that sometimes it doesn't reload the magazine. Is that it? Um, a lot of bodies, and I don't know where a lot of them are. I'm going to turn on my light. He's military? They are military. Wow, that's kind of scary. The fact that I'm taking these guys so casually is kind of spooky. This takes nine millimeter, but a very particular kind of nine millimeter. That's kind of annoying. My my friends are very spooked right now. Uh, actually, you know what would be good is let's take a moment and refill our magazine. And fill the other one up the pistol is good it's good to keep you know occasionally it's it's v like circumstantially very useful and you know if you can use it i think you should always um because it you know it means you're you're saving ammo on everything else that's some uh, a ton of ammo i just got There's another body over here uh, we're working our way over to that stash Mamer Anomaly. Uh, we've got... What, what is that? The functional gas system. Let's grab the gas system. 
nothing else. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get up there for weight, so I really got to be picky choosy. How's our battery doing? Okay, our battery's fine on our flashlight. Not seeing any baddies up here. I, I don't know why I'm like fully investigating this place. I don't know what that is, but Oh, we've got we've got goodies here. Nice. Nothing in there. Very good. Anything in here? Wild to me that there's like always something but nothing, you know, like sorry nothing. There's always a, a box and it never has anything in it. <laughs> Our friendos are attacking something. I'm not sure what. Is that my friend? I think it is. They're, they're kind of spooking me, I won't lie. Okay, um... We could jump down here. But I am curious... I'm curious as... Like, this is an interesting place, and I, I just kind of want to check it out while I'm here. Should have sharpened my knife. You never know what you'll need to... When you'll need to stab something. That's good wisdom there. Okay. Well, um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything too exciting here. So let's, uh, I'm going to jump down here because this is going to be the easiest way to get down to that stash. Apparently. I was hoping that that would be a smaller fall and it was. So what's, oh, here we go. What's our stash? Our stash is, um, is that, that is actually compatible ammo for our gun. In fact, a lot of this is good stuff. Documents. Um, good. Bread, bedspread, I'm, I'm never sure if I should take those. You can sell them. You can even break them down. Um, I just, I don't know if they're really relevant to my needs. All of that stuff is actually really good. Oh, a standard set of lockpicks is actually very decent. We could, uh, I could sell that. Those tend to be quite valuable. So things are really good right now. I mean, we killed some military folk. We did not get harassed by a helicopter. Honestly, unbelievable. Um, probably because we were indoors. I am interested in this like little arrow over here that tells me that there's like a um, a lab. I'm not sure where to go for that, but I wouldn't mind checking it out. But outside of that, I might just head towards the meadow and, and like, we're, we're pretty much good to go here. So what, where, do we have to go up? Do we have to use the crane? Like, what's the deal here? It feels like it's underground. To lab 18. Behind lab 18 complex. Like, is this the lab? Uh, this is going to be one of those things where maybe I don't figure out what I'm supposed to do, which sucks because it's going to be something really simple. I will check out the crane. I, I don't know. You know, you never know. It might be... This might actually be a, a some kind of puzzle or something. I don't know. Nope, doesn't seem like it. So, yeah, I, I don't know. This seems like it is the lab. But, um, I don't know. I was expecting something a bit more, to be honest. This seems like the kind of building that is, like, perfect for climbing. Like, I almost feel like, uh, you know, it was... 
an imported asset from like an Assassin's Creed game or something. Did I loot this body? I did not. Not much in there worth grabbing. Well, that's uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really go down here. So this is an option. I don't know. There's not really anything down here. I keep thinking that maybe there is like an alternative path or something. Oh, is there? I don't think I looted this body. There we go. You know what's down there is a body that we can loot. Nice. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to leave. Um, I feel a little bit foolish right now because those. Oh, I did not mean to do that. The, uh, the arrows universally indicate that there is a uh, an instance there like there's a place we can move to to lab 18 behind lab 18 complex like is this the lab or is there an access point to the lab that's my question but we have kill the stalker up there uh that is a bandit base up there oh man do i want to take on a bandit base um i guess so I did say I, w I didn't really want to, but uh, I, I, I prefer f like taking on a huge number of guys in the context of an indoor situation rather than uh, an outdoor one because it's a lot easier to navigate. You don't you, you can for sure you know for sure that you're not going to get harassed by a helicopter. It's just impossible, right? Um, and you can usually um, manipulate the situation so that you have the advantage. But also, you can actually see who's shooting at you. And as we all know from my copious amount of complaining, I hate when I cannot see who's shooting at me because there's like 50 bushes in the way. Is that a zombo? Yo. No. Okay, we have now engaged the bandit camp. Just realized that that shuffling might have been a bad guy. Um, I'll grab that barrel. I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything here. Oh, there's some more ammo. Uh, probably I do not do not have the range. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. All right, let's go, buds. there are still dead bodies from the last time I uh, raided this place. Dude. 
There's still more here. I can hear them. No? Wonder if I... Completed my mission at the very least. Damn. Okay. I can't see them. Okay, let's uh let's take care of our necessities right now. I'm gonna patch up my arm and we're gonna take a med kit. Save. Oh, that was silly. You just ran into my friends, bud. Hey, friend. Did we kill him? There's still still more. Wow. There's going to be a lot of looting. I'm probably going to do all of the looting between episodes. One thing that is nice about raiding a bandit base is you know for sure you're not going to get affected by an emission. Okay. Where are my friends? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to heal my legs first. Alright. I'm gonna take a moment, repair our legs. Bandage up. Use, use, cope, you know, be liberal with the, the health kits. Health kit, or a uh, quick save. I know there's more, I can hear them. I think they're all upstairs. Oh, please don't crash. Where are y'all? Can't. Oh my god. I'm being shot at and I still can't see anyone. Yo, where are y'all? They're like, they're like wood lice, you know? They're just everywhere, but I can't see them. one dead okay i know my commentary has been like lacking 
but I'm trying to stay alive. Can I get through here? You'd think that I would be able to get in there. The, f the constant footsteps are really disconcerting. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. I finally got the guy that was in the quest. You know, oh, wait a minute. I no longer require permission. I, it seems to me uh, this is like an entire base that I'm completely demolishing. Only... Um Oh god God that was such a waste of ammo There's so many They just don't stop God, um, I think now's a good time to save. Jesus, it's just, it's just a lot. Um, I need to like reload all of my guns. <laughs> my two friends are just like absolutely having the time of their life right now. Like, yeah, bud. Absolutely. Go for it. All right, um, we have a ton of 545. I'm going to actually eject our magazine and um, throw in a bunch of our five. Oh, sorry, not 545, 556, 45. I'll throw that into our large magazine. That'll take us a moment. Magazine loading and unloading speed improved. Nice. Was that? I don't think that was one of our friends. Uh, still loading. Oh, that's it's fully loaded now. Uh, what's what is happening here? No, it's not fully loaded. God damn. All right. Also, I forgot that this thing isn't part of our loadout and can't possibly be. Totally forgot about that part. Also, uh, still trying to stay on top. I, I want more magazines for this, for this gun. I got food. Loading, uh, freaking grabbing food. Oh, that's our friend. I know my friends are doing a lot of heavy lifting. I mean, I've killed quite a few, but... Like, for sure, my friends are doing a lot of the heavy lifting right now. Where are you shooting at? Nice. Can we kill the queen bandit and then all of the rest of them will fall? I do think that that's actually it. There might be more of them, but uh, I think we're good. I, I don't have that much room left. 
So I'm going to have to do quite a bit of uh, inventory management to make a lot of this happen. We'll grab the extractor. Okay, um, I guess we can grab cigarettes. All right, I'm going to call the episode here. I guess we'll, uh, in the next episode, I'll swing by the meadow. Or I might just, like, do a bunch of looting and, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where things go. Like, maybe... Uh, I'll have to start the next episode at the farm after I've like consolidated all of our stuff into usable materials and then like, you know, maybe upgraded some of my stuff. Definitely there's a lot of food here that I want to cook up so that we actually have food again. Um, but yeah, I think this was like very successful and we definitely completed a couple missions. Um, we did in fact kill the one dude. We have a vice here, so I could actually, like, if there's anything I can use to upgrade our stuff, I could, I could use it. Um, Pseudodog getting closer. I prefer to save my bullets for something bigger. Um, all right, so if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.